Sandstone Estates is a large commercial farm in the eastern free state of South Africa. It's also the home of the Sandstone Heritage Trust, an organization dedicated to the preservation of industrial, transport and agricultural heritage. Here you'll find a vast collection of vintage tractors and agricultural implements. The collection of military vehicles and equipment spans more than a hundred years. It has the largest roster of narrow-gauge railway locomotives in the world. And then there are the oxen. Afrikaner oxen have always been an integral part of sandstone estates, representing as they do a shared heritage of all the diverse peoples of South Africa. Thought to be descended from the original Zebu or Bos Indicus cattle, the Afrikaner is one of the world's oldest domesticated cattle breeds. The Bos Indicus were probably introduced into Africa via the Arabian Peninsula in about 2000 BC. The Afrikaner herds were decimated in the 1890s by the rinderpest epidemic. But through careful breeding programs, enough examples were kept pure to ensure the Afrikaners continued survival. The Afrikaner cattle was registered as a breed in 1912. Uh, they were bred for pulling purposes. To be used on ploughing and um, pulling wagons like this one. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very glad to see what's happening at Sandstone. Today, high tech but enlightened farms like Sandstone Estates are using oxen for many tasks that would otherwise be performed by tractors. A team of 12 oxen like this one has pulling power enough. But in practice, how many animals could be inspanned together into a single workable team? It was decided that this should be found out. Not only would it be an education, it was hoped that it would also establish a world record. It's the morning of the record-breaking attempt, and 36 bovine members of our team stand ready to be inspanned. Cooperation between man and beast demands a high degree of empathy between an ox and his handler. The older animals have been through all this before. They know it's just part of what being an ox is all about, so they're quite happy to stand by placidly while the yokes are attached. But in order to make up a team of 36, a number of less experienced animals have to be included in the span. Because all this cajoling is still quite new to them, these younger animals need a bit of restraining. This is done by holding them to the rail while the yokes are attached. <laughs> Thank you. 
Each ox is always paired with the same mate and on the same side of the yoke so they can get used to each other. The yokes are of different sizes to accommodate the oxen they're attached to. Because they're a little bit nervous and they're young, they need to be trained to, to pull together. You know, they must be trained and keep on training them and training them and training them. Then they get used to the inspan and the working with them and, yeah, they will get more time with time. At last, we have 18 pairs of yoked oxen waiting patiently for their turn to be inspanned. Okay. Okay. And we're on our way into an African landscape big enough to take our record breaking span. No less than 36 Afrikaner oxen span together in a single magnificent team. One of the instruments used to keep the animals under control is the whip. It's 16 foot long, but the length of the stick must comply with the, with the length of the of the whip, because you you can't walk next uh, you know next to each ox, so you have to talk to the ox in front and talk to the ox at the back, and then you wave the whip over his body and then you call his name. Then he knows exactly you're talking with him, and that's the reason for the long whip. Uh, more oxen you inspan the longer must your whip be, although you can get up to a certain, a certain point with the length of the whip, otherwise you'll not be able to handle it, it will be too heavy. Without these hardy animals, very little would ever have been moved, let alone developed. Wars were fought and lands were conquered on the backs of these humble beasts of burden. They are the true pioneers of South Africa's history, and today, our proud team of 36 oxen have made their own unique mark 
on that history.